welcome to week four of this introductory clogging lesson series produced by ActMan NextGen. We're going to start off with a review of the material that was new to us last week, which are chugs, bumblebees, earls, and rocking chairs. We'll start off with doing four basics and eight chugs, and we'll repeat that twice through. So how about Nate, if you could give us a little bit of music. On your fourth basic, you'll take two steps to get ready for chugs. Left and right. Lift the right foot for basics. Two steps to get ready. Now two basics into a bumblebee. Shuffle step, slam, slam, thread, step, slam, slam. One more time. Shuffle step, slam, slam, slide step, three basics. Then we'll tack an earl onto the third. Stuff, top, stop. Now two basics and a rocking chair. Step, scuff, heel, and a basic once more. Five, six, and out we go. So let's go back and review the Earl a little bit. We promised you that we would show you how to turn on it, and this is just a really fun part of it uh, to get into some movement steps. So we're going to start by doing three basics and a quarter turn on the Earl. And Adam can demonstrate that one time. We're going to go in a clockwise direction. So try this with us. Do your two basics completely facing forward. And then when you'll do your scuff, it's when you hop that you actually make the turn because you're off the ground and then you just land facing a quarter turn to your right. So here's a demonstration. Five, six, seven, and go. Basic one. Basic two. One more. Scuff, hop, step. See how easily he got turned around because, you know, there was no friction on his feet. So let's try that all together, okay? So put, get ready in position, and we'll do one of them to the right, then you're going to do another one to the right, another one to the right, and then you're going to end up in your original position by the time the fourth one is over. Three basics in between each earl, okay? So here we go. Give it a try. Five, six, seven seven and go shuffle step rock step shuffle step rock step shuffle step rock step scuff hop step shuffle one two shuffle step rock step scuff hop step shuffle step rock step two more basics right foot scuff or left foot scuff sorry one more basic and scuff hop step to the front so that's something you can practice um, the next part of that would be to do half turns, and if you're feeling not stable today, just, just don't even try it, okay? We all have better balance days and worse. Um, so Adam's still going to do three basics, and then on his first Earl, he's going to face the camera. He's going to do three more basics and then turn back to his original position. Feel free to join in. Five, six, seven, and go. Basic one. Basic two. One more. Now scuff, scuff, hop, step, three basics, shuffle, step, rock, step, scuff, hop, step. And then the three-quarter turn, um, we're going to do exactly the same thing. We're only going to do one at a time, though. So we'll do three basics, and Adam's going to end up facing the left wall. So here we go. Five, six, seven, and go. Shuffle, one. Shuffle two, shuffle step, rock step, scuff, hop step. Now let's challenge Adam because he's, you know, Adam. And let's have him do three basics from this position and do a whole turn around. <laughs> so five, six, seven, and go. Shuffle step, rock step, scuff, hop step. Bravo! <laughs> All right, so that's the little um, uh, different, different options to do with the Earl. The next step we have 
prepared for you is called a coal miner. This step is another one that has a few different variations to it and we'll share some of them with you this evening. Uh, Sheila is going to demo the coal miner. How about just one on each foot? Uh, this is a four count step that will leave us with our alternate foot free. So once we've done it on the right, our left foot will be free to do it there. So Sheila, how about twice through a coal miner? Five, six, right foot go. And left. Thank you so much. So this is another step where uh, thankfully you know all the components to it already. It's just arranging them in the order we want to. Um, with our right foot free, we'll start this step with a shuffle step. Then we'll take our left foot, which is then free, and touch just the toe of it behind our right, and hop on the right foot, and step down on the left. Now we'll repeat that toe hop step. So we have shuffle step, toe hop step, toe hop step. So let's try it together with the right foot free, nice and slow. Five, six, here we go. Shuffle, step, go, hop, step, go, hop, step. Yeah. Jumped ahead to the left foot. Hope you caught on for that. If not, let's try the right foot again one more time. Five, six. Here we go. Shuffle, step, toe, hop, step, toe, hop, step. Now we'll collect ourselves with that left foot and try it on that side, maybe twice. Five, six, coal miner, go. Shuffle, step, toe, hop, step, toe, hop, step. Ready that left foot again. Here we go. Perfect. And just as Sheila demonstrated and you all did at home, this is a really, hopefully, easy step to uh, switch to the op opposite foot um, because it's not introducing anything new to either foot. So let's go ahead and do uh, maybe four of those in a row, and then we'll switch it up. Right foot free, five, six, coal miner, go. Shuffle step, toe hop step, toe hop step, shuffle step. Toe, hop, step, toe, hop, step, shuffle, step, toe, hop, step, toe, hop, step, shuffle, step, toe, hop, step, toe, hop, step. Great. Now if we could invite Nate to play some music for us, let's do four basics and two coal miners. And we can repeat that through um, four times. So five. Six, here we go. Shuffle, step, rock, step. Shuffle, step, rock, step. Two more. Coal miner. Shuffle, step, toe, hop, step. Toe, hop, step. Shuffle, step, toe, hop, step. Four basics. Two coal miners. And a one and two and three and four and a five and six and seven and eight and four basics. Coal miner, shuffle step, toe, hop, step, toe, hop, step, shuffle step, toe, hop, step, basic go. This is your last time through. Coal miner. Shuffle step, toe, hop, step, toe, hop, step. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and do that same thing, but pick up the pace just a little bit um, before we show you a variation of this step. So five, six, ready, go. Base six, go. Coal miner. Shuffle step, toe hop step, toe hop step, shuffle step, toe hop step, toe hop step. Four basics. Two coal miners, and a one and two and three and four and a five and six and seven and eight. You're halfway through. Coal miners. 
Shuffle step, toe hop step, toe hop step, shuffle step, toe hop step, toe hop step. Last time. Two coal miners, and then we'll take it out. Five, six, and out we go. So as we mentioned, there are different variations to this coal miner, and one of them is that we can use the coal miner to turn. In much the same manner that we practice turning the earl, we're going to take advantage of that time we're airborne, so when we're hopping, um, to turn our bodies. What we'll do this time through is two basics, starting on our right foot, and then a coal miner on the right foot to turn halfway, and then we'll pause before doing the same thing to collect ourselves. So five, six, two, basics, go. Coal miner turns over our right shoulder. Now if we stop here, your left foot should be free. We'll do two basics, and a coal miner then would turn us over our left shoulder, so back the way we came. Five, six, two, basics, go. Great. Now, just uh, as we explored with the Earl, we can turn more if we'd like with the coal, coal miner. So let's do that same thing, um, but go ahead and turn all the way around. So we'll end up after our first coal miner back at the front. And we'll pause before we take it back to the left. Five, six, two, base six, go. Left foot's free. Let's go ahead and do two basics here, and that coal miner will still take us over our left shoulder. Five, six, two, base six, go. Wonderful. Now all together, just because we can, let's do let's do that without stopping in between. Five, six, two, base six, go. Coal miner. Shuffle step, toe hop step, toe hop step, in a basic, in a basic coal miner. Shuffle step, toe hop step, toe hop step. You made it. So this is a really great step. It's called the molly. And it's a four count or an eight count step. We're going to show you both versions of it. Um, the little bits you need to know, it does start with a shuffle step on the right foot, so there's a nice little comfort zone. Um, it repeats on the right foot, though. We don't do this on the left at all. So, and it has a funny little step in it right at the beginning that we'll uh, talk about at great length here. It has one new move in it, and it's called a dig. And maybe Adam could turn sideways to show you what a dig is. This, this is a thing that they do in tap dancing all the time. Um, it's also very common in clogging. So what it means is he'll do one on his right foot, and he's just going to lift his foot up and dig his heel into the ground. Ah! So, <laughs> this is not something you want to do on a nice wooden floor or anything that you treasure in any way, um, <laughs> it, because it does dig into the floor, believe it or not. So, Adam, one more time, just show what a dig is. Great. There's no weight going on to that foot. It's just touching the floor, making a percussive sound, and then something else is going to happen. Note that his left leg is bent and nice and soft, and you're going to need that position to do the molly. So, turn his back to us again, um, and if you would de demonstrate the whole step for us, um, he's going to do two of the four count versions and then one of the eight count version. So just bear with us for the demo, and then we'll break it all down for you. So five, six, seven, and go. Shuffle step, shuffle step, step, dig, drag, step. Shuffle step, shuffle step, step, dig, drag, step. Shuffle step, shuffle step, step, dig, drag, step, step, dig, drag, step, step, dig, drag, step. So we just repeated the very end of the step from the dig to uh, make it longer. The, the cool thing is at the very beginning, I think, and the words are shuffle step, shuffle step, step. The counts are and a one, and a two, and. And it's critical that you get that and count in really quickly. This is, this is something we've not done either. But um, Adam, could you demonstrate shuffle step, shuffle step, step. Seven and go. And his left foot is now ready, okay? Try, the, let's, I'm gonna slow that down just a little bit. Try it with us. The words once more are shuffle step, shuffle step, step. 
seven and go. Shuffle step, shuffle step, step. Note his bent right knee, critical, and his left foot is launched and ready to do something else, okay? One more time. Shuffle step, shuffle step, step. Seven and go. Shuffle step, shuffle step, step. So now he's going to do a dig, a drag on his right foot, and a step on his left. And that's called dig, drag, step. So I think maybe Adam could turn sideways. You'll get a little bit better sense of what's happening here. So with his left foot, he's going to do the dig, drag on his right, and step on the left. Couple of things to reinforce here. The reason his right his foot is his leg is bent is because when he drags back, he needs to straighten it out like this. And then this is one of the rare times in clogging we're going to have a straight leg up in the air. So note how how his knee is straight on the left foot and it comes down and he gets his balance back for the right foot. <laughs> So um, turn your back again if you would, Adam. The words, if you put the two bits together, are shuffle, step, shuffle, step, step, dig, drag, step. And then it repeats on the same foot, so we can just keep rolling this over four times to introduce you to the step. So hit with a nice soft left leg, right foot's launched and ready to go, nice and slow. Five, six, Seven and go. Shuffle, step, shuffle, step, step. Dig, drag, step. 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 Let's count, let's do two more, but do the, I'll say the counts instead of the actual steps. So five, six, seven, and go, and a one, and a two, and a three, and four, and a one, and a two, and three, and four. Let's see if we can do that. And again, that step on the right, that second step is kind of a tricky one, but that's the whole pivot point in, the, in this particular piece. Um, so let's uh, temp it up a little bit so you can feel the rhythm of it. Uh, so it's going to be shuffle, step, shuffle, step, step, dig, drag, step, shuffle, step, shuffle, step, step, seven, and go. Shuffle, step, shuffle, step, step, dig, drag, step, shuffle, step, shuffle, step, step, dig, drag, step. So that should uh, feel fairly comfortable. I'd give it about oh, four or five dozen more times through to get it really in your bones. Now the second half, let's, let's get back to that four count, okay? So seven and go, shuffle step, shuffle step, step, dig, drag, step. Now Adam's going to show you the rest while I say the words. So seven and go, step, dig, drag, step, step, dig, drag, step. So we're just starting with that right foot again and then going into a left foot dig. So just try along with him, step, dig, drag, step, step, dig, drag, step. It starts on the right foot, seven and go. Step, dig, drag, step, step, dig, drag, step. And the counts on that are seven and go and five and six and seven and eight. So let's put the whole eight count step together so that you see how it fits. It's going to, the words one more time. Shuffle step, shuffle step, step, dig, drag, step, step, dig, drag, step, step, dig, drag, step. Right foot repeats. Here we go from the very top. Let's do it two times through and see if we all survive. Seven and go. Shuffle, step, shuffle, step, step. Dig, drag, step, step. Dig, drag, step, step. Dig, drag, step. Shuffle, step, shuffle, step, step. Dig, drag, step, step. Dig, drag, step, step. Dig, drag, step. Adam, I'm going to ask you to turn sideways and do that for the full effect. Um, so let's do it two more times. Uh, you guys can keep just doing it in the same position, but this way you'll get a better visual on it. So five, six, 
Two long mollies. Go. Shuffle, step, shuffle, step, step. Dig, drag, step, step. Dig, drag, step, step. Dig, drag, step. Shuffle, step, shuffle, step, step. Dig, drag, step, step. Dig, drag, step, step. Dig, drag, step. Great. Um, so the basic pattern that we tend to put in our choreography, we sometimes we'll do a random molly here or there, um, but we like to do two short mollies and one long molly, which lo and behold gives you an entire 16 count step. So lots of progress here. Um, let's try it together. The short molly is the shuffle step, shuffle step, step, dig, drag, step. The long one is the one with the extra dig, drag steps on it. So let's do... Four short mollies to remind ourselves what those are. Five, six, seven, and go. Shuffle, step, shuffle, step, step. Dig, drag, step. Shuffle, step, shuffle, step, step. Two more. Shuffle, step, shuffle, step, step. Dig, drag, step. Shuffle, step, shuffle, step, step. Dig, drag, step. So we're going to do two more of those and then go into the one with the repeating ending. So five, six, seven, and go. Shuffle, step, shuffle, step, step. Dig, drag, step. Shuffle, step, shuffle, step, step. Dig, drag, step. Shuffle, step. This is the long one. Step, dig, drag, step, step. Dig, drag, step, step. Take it from the top again. Shuffle, step, shuffle, step, step. Dig, drag, step. One more short one. Shuffle, step, step. Dig, drag, step, long one. Shuffle, step, step. Dig, drag, step, step. Dig, drag, step, step. Dig, drag, step. So a fun little step and a great way to kill some time if you're um, <clears throat> just at a loss for what to do next. So let's ask Nate to join us and we'll do um, just the short molly four times slowly and then we'll speed that up a little bit and then we'll do the exact same thing for the long molly okay so get your right foot ready five six seven and go shuffle step shuffle step shuffle step step dig drag step shuffle step shuffle step step dig drag step two more Shuffle, step, step, dig, drag, step, shuffle, step, shuffle, step, step, last one's done. Great. Let's speed it up a little bit. Exactly the same thing, but let's go five, six, seven, go. Shuffle, step, shuffle, step, step, dig, drag, step, shuffle, step, shuffle, step, step, dig, drag, step, shuffle, step, shuffle, step, step, dig, drag, step. Shuffle, step, step, out we go. Wonderful. Let's try that long one. And if you recall, it's eight counts. Shuffle, step, shuffle, step, step, dig, drag, step, step, dig, drag, step, step, dig, drag, step. Nice and slow. Right foot leads. Five, six, seven, and go. Right foot leads. Shuffle, step, shuffle, step, step. Dig, drag, step, step. Dig, drag, step, step. Dig, drag, step. Shuffle, step, shuffle, step, step. Dig, drag, step, step. Let's do that two more times. Shuffle, step, shuffle, step, step. Dig, drag, step, step. Dig, drag, step, step. Dig, drag, step. Shuffle, step, shuffle, step, step. Dig, drag, step, step. Dig, drag, step, step, dig, drag, step. Lovely. Let's speed it up just a tad. Five, six, seven, and go. Shuffle, step, shuffle, step, step. Dig, drag, step, shuffle, step, dig, step, step, dig, drag, step. Shuffle, step, shuffle, step, step. Dig, drag, step, step. Two more times. Shuffle, step, shuffle, step, step, dig, drag, step, step, dig, drag, step, step, dig, drag, step, and a one, and a two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and out we go. Fabulous. Now let's try our pattern of two short and one long molly. 
Also slow, then a little bit faster. Right foot's ready to launch and go. Five, six, seven, and go, and shuffle step. Shuffle step, shuffle step, step. That's one short one, another one. Shuffle step, step, dig, drag, step. Now the long one. Step, dig, drag, step, step, dig, drag, step. Do that whole pattern again. Two short, shuffle step, step, dig, drag, step, shuffle step, shuffle step, step, dig, drag, step, long one, shuffle step, step, dig, drag, step, step, dig, drag, step, step, out we go. Let's speed it up a touch. Yeah, that's really fast. Hang on. <laughs> Right foot leads. Shuffle step, shuffle step, step, dig, drag, step. Do that again. Now the long one. Shuffle step, shuffle step, step, dig, drag, step, step, dig, drag, step, step. Again. Too short. Shuffle step, step, dig, drag, step, shuffle step, shuffle step, step, dig, drag, step. Shuffle step, step, dig, drag, step, step. Out we go. Wonderful. Uh, we know that this might be a little bit quick, but that's why you have the slower version to refer back to at your uh, convenience during the week. And that is the Molly. So we will review our coal miners and our mollies. We've switched it up a little bit, um, so of course I'll call it for you, but what we're going to do is two long mollies, which are the eight count steps, back to back. Then we'll do two basics in a coal miner, two basics in a coal miner, then four basics and two coal miners. So we'll go right from the right foot to the left foot that time through. And then back to our short mollies. We'll do two basics and a short molly twice through. That was a mouthful. I'll go ahead and call it, and you can watch Sheila while she dances it. So how about Nate, if you give us some music? Long molly go, shuffle step, shuffle step, step, dig, drag, step, shuffle step, shuffle step, step, dig, drag, step, shuffle step, shuffle step, step, dig, drag, step, step, dig, drag, step, step, dig, drag, step, and again. Shuffle step, shuffle step, step, dig, drag, step, shuffle step, shuffle step, step, dig, drag, step. Here's two basics, here we go, and a basic step, and a basic coal miner. Shuffle step, toe hop, step, toe hop, step. Two basics, coal miner on the left. Now four basics. We're gonna do back-to-back -back coal miners, right then left, here we go. Shuffle step, toe hop, step, toe hop, step. Shuffle step, toe hop, step. Two basics. In a short molly, shuffle step, shuffle step, step, dig, drag, step, two basics, short molly, and out we go. Great. <clears throat> so now we're going to teach you a little set of steps that we threatened, I mean promised you. So we're going to do, we're going to start with two basics, two alamos, and two basics, which shouldn't be too difficult. They're both steps that switch feet and that we've been doing since lesson one. So you should know those fairly well. Let's let Adam demo that for you. Two basics, two alamos, two basics. Five, six, seven, go. So we're going to call that the Alamo sandwich because it's surrounded by basics. The second line is going back to our chug pattern, which was the four forward and back and then left, right, left, lift. And then we're going to do two basics and one bumblebee. What's a bumblebee? Adam, why don't you uh, demonstrate a bumblebee again? Seven and go. I know it's been a long time since we did that. So he'll put the eight chugs, two basics and bumblebee together for you. Five, six, seven, go, chugs. Good. Lift that right foot for basics. And one bumblebee. 
So each of those lines are 16, 16 counts. Okay, so now Adam's going to demonstrate this whole little routine for you. This is just the beginning. We hope to maybe make it twice as long for you next week. Um, the, it's two basics, two Alamos, two basics. Eight chugs, two basics. Bumblebee, he's going to do them a little faster than we're going to work on it with you coming up in a minute. So Adam's ready to do two basics. Nate's going to join in. Five, six, seven, and two basics. Two Alamos. Two basics. Eight chugs. Now basics and one bumblebee. And we would never leave that leg hanging like that, so to be continued. Um, there's one transition I just want to remind you of, and it's how we get into the chugs. If you recall, um, we do flat feet on the second basic. So Adam, would you kindly demonstrate um, the two basics into the eight chugs? So seven and go, shuffle, step, rock, step, shuffle, step, 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 one, two, three, and four. Good. And then we'll do the rest of them. So we're calling the first line an Alamo sandwich because it's um, an Alamo, two Alamo sandwiches between two basics on either side. So these steps should be fairly simple for you. Um, we're going to start with our right foot, of course. Let's not use music for a moment. We'll do it nice and slowly. Two basics, two Alamos, two basics. Five, six, seven, and go. Two basics, rock, step, Alamos. Three shuffle steps, three shuffle steps, and two basics. Shuffle step, rock step, shuffle step, rock. Flat feet, All right. Uh, let's do that one more time at that tempo. And those flat feet at the end are important. Here we go. Five, six, seven, and go. Basics. The filling, the elbows. Step, shuffle, step, and then two basics to end up the first line. Rock, step, shuffle, step, flat feet. Great. The second line, with your nice flat feet, you're going to do your eight chugs into two basics, one bumblebee. So five, six, seven, and go, and slide, slide, slide. Left and right, right and lift, two basics. Shuffle, step, rock, step, the bumblebee's coming up. Shuffle, step, slam, slam, forward, back, slam, slam. Try that line one more time so your feet are flat on the ground. Eight chugs, five, six, seven, and go, and one. Left and right, and two basics coming up. Shuffle, step, rock, step, shuffle, bumblebee. Shuffle, step, slam, slam, boom, boom. Great. All right, so we're going to do the whole thing through one time without music, um, nice and slow. We're going to do the Alamo sandwich line right into the eight chug line, okay, without a break. Five, six, two, basics. Shuffle, step, rock, step, shuffle, step. Alamo, three shuffle steps. Three shuffle steps again. And then two basics. Shuffle, step, rock, step, flat feet, end it. Now chugs, one, two, three, left and right. And you're gonna lift that right foot up for two basics and end with one bumblebee. Shuffle, step, slam, slam, slide, step, slam, slam. All right, it'll make sense eventually. Let's ask Nate to join in with us. We'll start it out a little bit slower than that and work our way up, okay? And this is just something you can keep in your back pocket. You're welcome to use it for anything you want to. Um, it's just, it gives your feet a, a, a purpose if you're listening to some music and you're just not quite ready for freestyling or putting your own thing together. And we'll grow, we'll grow it next session, okay? So two basics are going to lead. Um, the tune we're using today is Old Georgia, by the way. Georgia Railroad. I lied. Georgia Railroad. Thank you, Nate. <laughs> and um, it was learned from the Foghorn String Band, which is a real classic old-time band. So nice and slow, we'll start out our basics.
Here we go. Right foot leads. Shuffle step, rock step. Alamo, three shuffle steps. Another Alamo, left foot this time. And two basics. Shuffle step, rock step, end with flat feet for chugs. One, two, three, and four. Left and right. And lift, two basics. And a bumblebee. Shuffle step, slam, slam, and out we go. Nice. Well, let's speed that up just a little bit in case you can handle that. It starts to feel more like dancing at this at a little quicker tempo and don't be nervous. Just go with it if you miss a step. You know what? You're the only one who's going to know that. So here we go. Uh, we're going to start with two basics. Right foot. Alamo. Another Alamo. Basics and flat feet for chugs. One, two, three, four. Lift for two basics. And you're going to have a bumblebee to end. Oh gosh, that was so wonderful. Let's do it one more time at that tempo. Five, six, seven, and go. Basics. Shuffle step, rock, one, shuffle step, rock, elmo. Step, shuffle, step, shuffle. Two basics. Flat feet for tugs. Left and right. Lift for basics. And bumblebee. Now, theoretically, just for your information, you could go right back to the top of that and start your two basics again, and you could dance this all night long. Thank you, Adam and Nate.